Hello everyone, my name is Rob Taylor and I'm a Product Technical Specialist here at Malvern Panalytical and today I'd like to demonstrate to you the Hydro Insight Dynamic Imaging Accessory for the Matasizer 3000. As for the hardware, what we have here is the Hydro MV uh, dispersion unit. It has an internal volume of approximately 120 mil, an impeller just to drive the uh, dispersant around the system, and then an integrated ultrasonicator just to sort of break up any of those uh, loose agglomerates that, that might be present in the sample. Okay, so this is connected to the cell in the uh, Master Size of 3000 bench, and if I just pull this out now, you can see what that looks like. Now, in between the dispersion unit and the light bench, we have the Hydro Insight uh, Dynamic Imaging Accessory. And if I just pull the front off, you can see what's behind there, which is just the, the, the flow cell. The sample flows uh, from the dispersion unit through this flow cell and then into the flow cell of, of the uh, Martisizer 3000 bench. But just behind here uh, will be a camera and a flash lamp so it can collect still images of the particles that, that are flowing through. But either way, it's all in line, so uh, both systems are seeing uh, th the same sample. What I've got here is a sample of uh, 316 uh, stainless steel metal powders. This is of, of a size range relevant to, uh, to additive manufacture um, applications. And I've got an SOP that I've already designed for the Master Sizer 3000. So I'll go ahead now and get that running, and then when we've added the sample, we can see what those particles look like. Okay, so I'll just take the lid off the dispersion unit. I have the sample of uh, 316 metal powder. So this goes in here. Okay, so that's a good quantity of sample gone in there. And it's uh, exceeded the, the lower limits of the obscuration, so uh, we what we'll now get is the, the data from the, uh, uh, the, the light scattering and then the interpretation of that data in the form of um, a size distribution. Okay, so now we have the sample running through the system, we can go to the Hydro Insight software to uh, set up the run and take a look at what the particle images look like. These are the particle images flowing through, and if I just stop that now, take a single image, click on Analyze, uh, and now what you can see on screen here is that all of the particle images that have been selected based upon our settings and all of those uh, images that have been rejected. So uh, once I've done that, uh, we can click Next, clear that screen and then start the run. The SOP in the Master Sizer has now uh, finished and just want to take a look at that data to see uh, what we've got. So uh, we can see in the records view that we have uh, five records that were uh, collected and then an average of those five. And if we just click on and highlight all five records, we can see from the analysis report on the right hand side, we have the, the overlay of, of the size distributions and, uh, and the results of, those, uh, of, of one of those overlays. Okay, so now that we've seen the Martisizer 3000 data, let's go into the Hydro Insight software to take a look at what these particles look like. So here we are in the Hydro Insight data and uh, the, the landing page will be in the post-run processing page and here, this is where we see all the thumbnails of, of the data that we've collected. And they're sorted by uh, ECA diameter, that's, that's uh, equivalent circular area, that's that size from, from high to low. And you can take a look at uh, the different pages that are present there. And for each of these particle images, you can uh, click on those and it will show you the, the, the values for, for each of those uh, particular thumbnails. So if I close that down now. Um, but perhaps now I want to just take a look at some of, the, uh, some of the particle images that are relevant to a particular parameter. So for example, circularity. In this case, I'll close the thumbnails down. I'll go into the measure limits page. I'll select circularity and I'll have a minimum value of 0.8 and a maximum value of uh, point of, of 1. Click OK and then uh, show the thumbnail images again. OK, so these are all, the, all, all of the particle images which uh, meet that particular specification. But of course, you can check on, on other parameters. And uh, finally, I just wanted to show you in this page how to correlate one parameter against another. So in this case, we have uh, measure one set to, uh, again, ECA diameter, 
a measure two set to circularity. So if we click on the correlation plot, we can see how those two uh, parameters are set against each other. Okay, so here we have uh, the, 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 the comparison plot. Uh, and what this is useful for is if you have particular regions or, or zones where you see high numbers or high populations of particles, maybe this represents a certain uh, particle type, which may be of a particular interest to you, uh, depending upon the, the, the test that you are running. Now let's take a look at the, the run data. So if I click on the, the run data tab, here we now see all of the uh, distributions based upon the measures that we've selected. What's interesting about this particular uh, data set is that we see for uh, ECA diameter, we have what appears to be uh, a bimodal distribution. We have an extra mode at the top end here. We have this main mode here, approximately around 30 microns or so. And then we have another mode which is much larger in size. Now, what's interesting about this in terms of additive manufacture is that this could represent some very large or, or regular shaped particles uh, that, that could uh, affect the quality of the additive manufacture uh, process. So if I want to take a closer look at these uh, particle images, I can go back to the post-run processing tab and take a look at all those particle images that are 50 microns and above. So I come back to post-run processing, select measure limits, I'll deselect the circularity um, parameter now and I'll select ECA diameter and I'm going to say a minimum value of 50 micron. Click OK, load those thumbnail images and now we can see what, uh, what these particles look like. So we have some, uh, some large particles there. Uh, if you just skip through the other pages, we have, so we have some very large, very sp uh, spherical particles, which are good, uh, at least in terms of their shape for things like flowability and packing density. But we also see a few particles which are uh, somewhat satellited, maybe a few fused particles or irregular shapes. And this is the, the opposite to, to the circular particles. So these will uh, negatively impact the, uh, the flowability and, and packing density. And of course, in terms of additive manufacture, that could really impact the quality of the part that you've built. OK, so that now completes the demonstration of the uh, Hydro Insight dynamic imaging accessory for the Master Sizer 3000. Now, I hope you found it useful and, and interesting. And if you have any questions about this or the application, then feel free to ask us now or at a later date. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. Talk to you soon.